So God up there, let me tell you, you know I love food. God knows I love food. So for me to give up food, that is like the ultimate sacrifice. So day two. Hello, beautiful people of the land and the world. This is Sade coming to you live from Georgia, helping you to reclaim your freedom. Today's video, I wanted to talk about water fasting. But before I do that, I just want y'all to acknowledge and look at the beautiful greenery, 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 greenery of my backyard. I think I'm gonna continue to, you know, record out here because I don't know, it just gives me vibes. It just does something to me. It's like I feel the energy, I feel the, the spirit out here. So I hope that y'all enjoy this video, but today we're gonna talk about water fasting. I've water fasted, I would say about three times. Twice was a three day fast. One was a intermittent seven day fast. I'm not sure if I made it to the seventh day, but I did it three times. And there were so many wonderful, wonderful benefits that came from it. And I just want to take you to a place of where I was before I, when I first started my water fast. When I first started my water fast, I think it was like in November of um, last year. And I just was feeling really down. I was feeling depressed. Um, finances weren't doing what it was supposed to do. And my body was aching from doing hair all the time. And I just was feeling like I just wanted to give up on you know life I guess you know I just wanted to give up so I felt like I couldn't even connect with God the way that I wanted to um, I'm a very intuitive person and I feel like I can receive not I feel like I can receive messages and hear them when I need to hear them I also have dreams and things like that so I felt really blocked at this time and I felt like I wasn't connecting with the spiritual realm the way that I really wanted to. So, also I wasn't drinking much water. So I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call myself like super, super deep spiritually. I am deep, but there's way more that I need to learn. And I didn't believe in water fasting. I didn't believe in fasting at all. I didn't see the point in fasting. Why do we even fast? Until I met my husband, who is Nigerian, and he does fast. But he fasted a lot, and I just didn't understand why he fasted. So, you know, I just felt like I could achieve these things without fasting. And then, you know, now I see the importance of fasting by fasting. So, so this is uh, my story and this is what happened to me. So as I said to y'all before, I was feeling really down. I was feeling really depressed, like I wanted to give up. And credit was all right. And um, yeah, I, I was asleep. And mind you, before all of this, I had signed that I need to drink more water and I guess honestly the water is what allows me to connect better with spirit I've received messages of how I need to drink more water and water connects you even more spiritually to the other side and I didn't know that I drank a lot I'm an avid coffee drinker I drink wine I love wine I was having wine every night so my diet was <laughs> freaking coffee wine coffee wine coffee wine coffee wine and a little bit of juice that was <laughs> basically um my thing so continuing on i would appear to time just feeling so blocked i didn't listen to drink the water every time i would try to drink water it wouldn't work out and i would just go back to my old ways of drinking of uh, drinking um wine and freaking coffee so yeah i was in this house that was very very dense and heavy anyway uh energetically so i also felt like that was creating a blockage for me as well so 
one night I fell asleep and I heard three knocks. Boom, boom, boom. Hard. And it woke me up out of my sleep. And I went to my door. Nobody's at my door. I didn't know what that was. But all I know is that I heard freaking three knocks. But I went back to sleep. And in that little theta state, the state of half up, half sleep, I saw a bottle of a, a bottle of water and I saw it pour into a glass cup. So whatever that was was trying to alert me I need to drink water again. So I was like, you know what? Let me do a water fast. Because even between then I was receiving messages. I mean, I was like seeing like YouTube things of water fasting and things like that so i was like all right let me just go ahead and do this water fast because i don't like where my life is and let me see what happens so what i did was a week before i prepared myself because you do have to prepare yourself for a water fast and you have to lighten up on the things that you eat my diet is not the best and what i did was so that i didn't have to have like such a big um you know because sugar i didn't want to have like i'm stopping cold turkey i didn't want to have like withdrawal sugar withdrawals and you know really feel even more terrible than i should so what happened was i did a whole week of just drinking water uh with my food so i didn't drink coffee i didn't drink wine i didn't do anything of that i just drank straight water and honestly even though i didn't change up my diet I feel like that water helped me a lot. So, day one of the fast, after the whole week of me straight drinking water with my food. So day one of the fast. It was cool. I was fine. I was drinking smart water. I had water with electrolytes and that also helps a lot. I was just drinking water all day. That's it. Nothing different. My stomach would growl from time to time. No big deal. Not a big deal. Day two. Day two. Day two was hard. And I remember attempting this a while ago. And I was like, man, screw this. Mm -mm. Day two came. It was hard. I made sure I didn't work. And honestly, I feel like maybe I should have did a little bit of work. Because you have to really keep yourself distracted. Because day two is when the hunger pains come in and it kicks in like no other. You do get hangry. I was freaking hangry, but I wasn't as hangry as I thought I was gonna be, I'll tell you that much. Um, <laughs> Cause I love food. So God up there, let me tell you, you know I love food. God knows I love food. So for me to give up food, that is like the ultimate sacrifice. So day two. Ooh, that was tough. That was tough. And every time I, I was hungry, I would drink water. I would just guzzle it down. Guzzle, 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 guzzle. By this time, I'm feeling like, you know, <laughs> my pee is clear. It's like cleansing me out and everything. And that's pretty much all I experienced for day two is I was hungry. But let me get into day two, nighttime. Day two, nighttime was crazy because... I <laughs> I could be very weird at times, okay? For some reason, like, when I'm, like, super, super hungry, and let's say I, I don't have anything to eat or whatever, this is, like, back in the day, what I would do is I'll sit and watch the Food Network, and then it would, like, somehow, make, like, fill my belly up for some reason. I have no idea how that works, but, yeah, so I'm weird. So what happened was I was having them cravings, like, crazy. I went to sleep. I was like, you know, nighttime, looking on the TV. What I'm watching on the TV is straight mukbangs. Mukbangs. Okay? I'm looking at mukbangs. Looking at, like, the listening to the crunch of the chicken or the crunch of the crab and 
whatever source people have their phases. And I'm just there like, I mean, a marathon of it. A whole marathon of it. I don't know what's wrong with me, why I am that way. I have no idea, but I was very like, it, it kept me good for some reason. So I watched it all day, all day. I, of course I dreamt about food, of course. Of course. <laughs> it was crazy. So anyway, got through that. It was very hard. That night was extremely hard. And then I went into the next day. The next day was day three. I actually woke up, wasn't feeling hungry. I really felt energized. I felt good. And I was pushing myself even further because I know that people talk about that euphoric feeling and I was wanting to experience that euphoric feeling. So day three, I say it was like, I had energy that I didn't have before. Before when I started the fast, like <clears throat> my joints were hurting. My joints weren't hurting anymore. And then I just started like having more dreams. Yeah, that, that, uh, no, it was that, yeah. Going into, it was like the third night and the fourth even when I started eating, my dreams was like kicking in full speed. Whereas before I wasn't able to have dreams because I was just so blocked. And that's not normal for me. So yeah, my dreams were kicking in. I was having dreams every, every night. So anyway, day three. I just felt good. I felt like I could walk, I could walk a mile, no food, no hunger pains, energized. I felt good. I felt a, a buzz inside my feeling. I mean, inside my body. I had that very euphoric feeling that people were talking about. I don't know if it kicked into high gear, but I do know that I felt very like I felt a vibration like a and I I wasn't worried about anything. My situation honestly didn't change as far as like the money situation. It did after, which I'm gonna get to like the different miracles that happened, which they did. Um, but yeah, like I was more focused. I wasn't anxious, no anxiety. I was just feeling good. Depression out the window. I just felt so good and so thankful and I felt like any messages that I received because of the fact that I'm just so like I don't have no distractions I could just receive whatever messages that I needed and one of the messages was for me to do YouTube and honestly I fasted three times and it came up three times so which is part of the reason why I'm here today yeah. anyway um yeah so on to the miracles um, my credit score shot up like 150 points. So I was in the low 600s, and then I was like about almost at 750. I think I was like 748, 751, 760 for one of them. So it shot up like crazy. And um, that happened. I also got approved for rent to own program for our home. That happened. One of my dreams was to move out of the place. Like I said, it was super, super condensed. I mean, the energy was so dense and I was just super depressed in there. And I just was, I wanted to leave. So I got approved for a rent to own program for a home. Um, my husband, I know y'all don't know, if you're new to the channel, he's from Nigeria. I went through the whole USCIS process with him and he got approved, documentarily qualified. It's called DQ. He got DQ and that was like tears of joy. If you know the process, that process is a very, very long process. And you don't know when you're gonna get approved for anything. You don't know when you're gonna see your mate. You don't know when you're gonna be here in the United States. So that was uh, part of the miracle got approved um money was like rolling in clients i just felt super in tune and i know that there was more um but honestly like i can't remember some yeah so that's pretty much what i wanted to say about the three-day fast the seven-day fast was like 
regardless of what you have to get closer to god you get closer to god because it's like you're in so much like pain i don't want to say pain but you feel like i don't know what to do i don't want to break this fast so you just get closer to god by praying like god give me the strength to get through this fast god give me the strength take these hunger pains away because they're no joke so yeah I definitely got closer to God and there were several miracles that happened and some of them I hate the fact that I can't remember but yeah so moving along I did a seven day fast the seven day fast was an intermittent fast and it wasn't a full seven days I just did like five days and I just needed one more thing to go through my my husband had his interview uh coming up and I just wanted to make sure that he got a specific kind of person i didn't want him to have somebody that was gonna be an asshole and just deny because there are a few of those um consulates i guess they call that are assholes and you know the people that give the interviews can be assholes some of them are really nice so i wanted him to have i i had it down to the hair color i had it down to the i had it down to the look and i was in my bible praying that he had a specific one that was really nice and kind and blah 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 and i'm water fasting and i'm in my prayer closet just praying 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 and lo and behold that night it was like that last night that i was like okay i can't do this fast anymore it's just a lot i don't know why the second one was harder but anyway um yeah so he passed his interview and he told me the lady that he had <laughs> and same description that I gave her when I prayed to God and I didn't tell him anything. I just did it on my own and he ended up getting exactly who I wanted him to get. And he didn't even need like, there were some documents that we had missing for real, for real. And she didn't even ask for those documents. And I was scared when I tell you like, I was in very much panic mode because we didn't have that specific document. And I would, when I would go into the um, Nigerian uh, Facebook group, the ones that are waiting for their spouses to come, they were like, well, you need this document or, you know, you're just going to have to reschedule your interview date or whatever they would say. And I just was like, I'm just going to have faith in God. And she didn't even ask for his paperwork. She just talked to him. That was it. That's a miracle in itself. In itself, you mean he had a stack of papers that he had to turn in. And so she, she like was like, yeah, no, you don't need that. Sit down. Let's have a conversation. They had a conversation. He answered all the questions with flying colors, and he passed his interview. And another miracle that happened with that is that like when we got our interview date. It was the last day of the year, February 20th. No, the last day of the month, which was the leap year, which is this year, February 29th, is when he had his interview. And that in itself is like, yo, you had your interview on a leap year. Like, what are the odds? And then during that time, when they were giving out the interview dates, like way back when, I was like scared that I was terrified okay that they were gonna like change the um reschedule his interview for a later date and they didn't and they they did other people but they didn't with ours it was like a batch of interview letters that went out that they had to reschedule for whatever reason and they weren't doing that the whole time that we were waiting for our letter so yeah i mean our interview date so yeah miracles Miracles, miracles happened during my fast. Um, my mental clarity out the wazoo. And that's pretty much what I gotta say about that. Um, and my third fast was just a little different and I'll just go into a separate video about that. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, I would love for you to like, comment, subscribe like comment and subscribe share comment if you've ever done a fast before if you have any questions about a fast i would love to answer your questions in the comment section below and i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it gave you some sort of clarity and i hope that if you do decide to go on a fasting journey i hope that 
you enjoy it. Set intentions behind your journey, whatever it is that you want to achieve, a breakthrough you need, anything. Just set something behind it and see what unfolds. But I highly recommend fasting, the water fast particularly that I did. So I hope y'all enjoyed and love y'all. Bye.